Prior to Meeting With No Limits, I was someone who I thought had all these food and like sensitivities. And so I was avoiding food, but also binge eating them when I couldn't have it. But I would notice that it affect me immediately. And I thought I was just allergic to everything. Uh, also, I feel like that when I would binge eat or even have one cheat meal, I would automatically feel guilty about myself and then further into binge eating. Like I would just go excessively and just keep going because I would be like, oh, we well, already ruined today. So that's something that I was struggling with. What's up, No Limit fam? I'm here with Sabrina G. Um, she's here to give us a testimonial about how her last 12 weeks with No Limits was. Can we get an introduction, age, and career, please? Okay, so hi everyone. My name is Sabrina and I am 25. I just finished my master's of teaching. So hopefully, eventually, I'll get a job in teaching and expand from there. Awesome. Not hopefully went <laughs> yeah <laughs> um okay so i want to know sabrina like what were some things you were struggling with before meeting with um, no limits so prior to meeting with no limits i was someone who i thought had all these food and like sensitivities and so i was avoiding food but also binge eating them when i couldn't have it but i would notice that it affect me immediately and i thought i was just allergic to everything uh, also, I feel like that when I would binge eat or even have one cheat meal, I would automatically feel guilty about myself and then further into binge eating. Like I would just go excessively and just keep going because I would be like, oh, well, I already ruined today. So that's something that I was struggling with. And it was unfortunate because I was someone who enjoyed working out. Um, like I love working out, but nutrition was the hardest thing for me. For sure. And usually that is like the sticking point for most people. Um, so what were you kind of unsure about, I guess, before joining No Limits? Like, do you think, did you think maybe this wouldn't work for you or was there any second guesses before coming into the program? Yeah, I feel like everyone will have second guesses because you've tried so many things in the past that you're like, oh, this is probably not going to work or this is going to be um, a waste of time. I'm not going to see results, stuff like that, because I thought um, it was like a me problem and I can do it on my own. So I was really hesitant to, I guess, um, get on the phone call to start this. But yes, yeah, so I was really hesitant <laughs> to change my ways. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, well, you spoke on some things that you tried in the past, which made you hesitant about working with a coach. What are some of those things that you tried and I guess, why didn't those things work? So I've, um, I really tried to focus on my, my nutrition here and there. And so I would do like just um not the best thing so i would do the whole like oh you know what i'm just gonna skip dinner i'll work out i'll just have a protein shake whatever so i was doing that and obviously you do drop weight but it's only for like seven days and then it escalates again because you're just starving so what i would usually try is all the time like just stop everything stop eating the foods that i love cut out carbs cut out this and it may have given me the results for like three to seven days. And then automatically again, I would go back to eating everything, but in an excessive amount. Mm -hmm. And then all those food <laughs> sensitivities would come back, so. Yep. So you're almost feeling like stuck in a cycle of trying things that are very restrictive and, you know, causing yourself to fail and then trying something new and like that cycle, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm glad we broke it. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> So how are you feeling these days? How are you feeling after that 12 weeks with us? I'm feeling so much better. Um, of course, like you do have those days where you're like, oh, I could have pushed harder or I could have, um, I could have like tried harder that day, but I, I just feel so much better. Like I feel like if I do have a cheat meal and stuff, I don't feel guilty about it and I won't go into that vicious cycle. I'll just be like, you know what, starting Monday, I got, I'm gonna go back onto this. Like I had a weekend at the cottage 
this weekend and of course with everyone being there you eat whatever you want and I didn't feel guilty because I knew I was going to go back to my workouts back to my routine and I did and I feel so much better where usually that would put me in such like a sad and like bad mood that I wouldn't be able to recover from it and then I would go back to restrictive dieting which would not help at all so I'm feeling more of the self-confidence and as O'Neill would know that our first call I would never picture myself in this moment being happy with my body or happy with myself and so it's been an amazing experience (laughs) right before this call i was actually looking at your picture i'm like holy f you look good (laughs) oh my god but just besides looking good you probably feel so good like you feel proud of yourself you feel confident, like you said and yeah that first call you said i don't know if i can picture being happy with my body and now like you, you seem thrilled about it so it's two things that you did there not only do you actually look good yeah you look great but you're just so proud of yourself and that's that's like that speaks volumes right that's that's something nobody can take away from you because when you believe in yourself it doesn't matter what anyone says right it's just it goes mm, over your head so, yeah, get yeah. Out of here, right? <laughs> yeah. so that's awesome so i guess you know what what would you say to someone who's maybe too scared are too hesitant to hire a coach, maybe going through those same kind of body issues as you. And yeah, they're just not sure if it's going to work. What would you say to that person, that woman? I would tell them a hundred percent do it. Um, We like when we're sick, we go to the doctor, we go to an expert, right? And with nutrition or even with training and stuff, a lot of people are hesitant towards that. Maybe because they're feeling embarrassed or maybe that they think, no, no, no. Like I can do it on my own. I can do it. But like we're not experts and if you're reading it on like if you're trying to do your own research it still doesn't help because one site will say one thing then another thing will say another so that's why i would say to do it and you're going to feel so much better and looking back like i'm just amazed at what i've learned in 12 weeks and i know i would never be able to do it on my own or feel this confident on my own Hundred percent. That's that's a beautiful thing. That makes me super super happy to hear. I knew you were gonna do well. I wasn't doubting it at all. But to hear it from you, just it, it sounds really nice and it makes me feel good. So super proud of you, Sabrina. You're such a, a, an amazing person. You, you're always active in the group and you worked your butt off to to be able to look and feel that good. It didn't just come overnight. You spent the the, the last twelve weeks putting everything you could into it. So. Um, without you, this wouldn't be possible. That girl. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. <laughs> so thanks again, Serena. Thank you.